This one's going to start off featuring Dave. <laughs> Dave Marsh is a homegrown musician born and raised in the greater Washington, D.C. area. As a youth, he attended the renowned Duke Ellington School of the Performing Arts and is one of the unique individuals who can call himself a musician and an educator. I re realized somewhere between 10 and, and, and 13 uh, that I was branching off from the, the, the average guys in the neighborhood. I, I have um, kind of one of my sayings to all my new students, don't think of jazz as a style of music, but a way of doing things. Musically, you know, the, the, the tragedy of uh, the starving musician, you know, I've been somewhat lucky in that respect too. But I, I, as I'd like to believe that I've been smart as well by diversifying myself, being able to play by ear and read and to accept any style of music as part of my own personal nature. And I've been able to, to function. Because a, a lot of people um, will complain about how the business is, if they're not doing well in the business. But for some of them people, they, they may not be doing well because maybe you don't know how to read. You have all these different categories of music, but as mus musicians, we're producers. You know, we can't afford to, you know, make categories. That's to to package and sell music. Is to make categories. Tito Puente, you know, said it best, along with Duke Ellington. Tito said, "There's only two kinds of music: music that swings and music that doesn't swing." Duke Ellington said, "It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing." David's forward thinking and diversity serves him well as he is able to transition in and out of a variety of situations and feel comfortable in any number of musical styles. His versatility has taken him from Blues Alley to the White House. My versatility has enabled me to, to work many different circuits. And certain circuits are working more than, than others. Depends upon the season. Like if you're playing um, bluegrass, folksy kind of stuff, you know, the summertime is probably the big time for you. A lot of festivals, outdoor functions. If you're in the symphony, you know, the, the wintertime is probably big for you. People want to hear concerts, they want to go indoors. And a, a symphony orchestra outside doesn't have the impact that, you know, it, it needs that. What would you want your lasting contribution to be? 
Well, <clears throat> I have my daughters. That is, that that, that is uh, the legacy of the, the spirit and the flesh. Um, I have my my students, and I've been able to help enough of them where they have good things to say about me. I'm not so much concerned with the good that they say to me. They are, of course, they respect me, but they will say to other people some of the, the wisdom that I tried to help them with. And I didn't invent it, I just channeled it from other people that I had gotten it from. I've been able to um, cultivate friendships, you know, and to maintain those friendships early on. Some people I've worked with and been friends with for 30 years. Music has been very, very good to me.